Okay, so to start off the Sophia Bush inspired look, I already primed my eyelid with uh, Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Obviously, I've got the shadow done on this eye. Um, I do want to mention, too, that I'm doing um, a little bit different eyeshadow colors than what she's wearing, just because I wanted to kind of change it up a little bit. Um, but it's basically, you can pretty much put any kind of shadow on as long as it's kind of purpley, got a little purple to it, whatever. I mean, if you just look at the pictures, you can see that she wears a lot of different eyeshadow colors. Um, but it's mainly kind of touching purple. So, um, anyway, I'm going to be using mainly the Coastal Sense 88 palette. So let me just show you the colors I'm going to use. Um, first of all, I'm going to use this color right here. Then I'm going to use this color over here exact exact opposite of it then I'm going to use the purple right here and that's it from this palette so the first light color I'm using my eco tools eyeshadow brush and we're just gonna pat this over the entire eyelid area and the reason I'm doing this is because I want to get a nice base for the eyeshadows but it also helps the shadows blend really well so I've finally learned that after doing makeup for so long. I was like, you know what? I just need to start putting an eyeshadow base on when I want the shadows to blend well. <laughs> so, as you can see already, that made a big difference. Kind of covered up my little veins that you can see. Okie doke, that's that. Now I'm taking my small uh, Sony Kashuk eyeshadow, picking up that second color. It's kind of a uh, I don't know, light brown with a little bit of purple in it. I mean, it doesn't really show up on my eyelid as purple, but oh well. Of course, I found that out later. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so patting this on the eyelid from the lash line to the crease. It's not really pigmented. I'm a little bummed about that, but you know kind of a soft smoky look and it'll really get punched up with that uh, black eyeliner we're going to be using. Actually I'm going to use black and brown. You'll see how that works. I'm pretty excited about it actually. I don't know if you just heard my sister or not but she's pretty funny. Okay so pretty much it. So make sure that corner is blended. And then I'm going to use the next color with my tapered blending brush from Red Earth, that dark purple. And we're going to put this on the outer corner. Okay, barely got any. Let's try that again. There we go. And just going to lightly sweep that in. And then I'm just going to bring it out to the end of the eyebrow a little bit. I know it looks a little freaky at first, but we're going to blend, blendy, blendy. Sometimes I end up getting one side a little bit different looking, so I have to go and fix the other side. Okay, so you don't have to mess with it too much. Then, the next color I'm going to use is not from the palette, it's Ulta Eyeshadow in Twilight. I love this color, I mainly did this, these colors because I wanted to use this one. I'm using my Sony Kashuk uh, Big Blending Brush, and I'm going to put this in the crease. Just kind of blend it all together. Another one I kind of wish showed up more, but oh well. <laughs> Don't have any colors, other colors like it from any other brands, so that's all good. You use what you got, right? Okay, woohoo, falling. Okay, I just need to check it in a different mirror really quick. Last thing I'm gonna do is take that second color I used from the 88 palette, the light brown color with a small eyeshadow brush, and just brush a little bit of that under the lower lash line. Okay, 
Okay, so now for the eyeliner. This is the fun part. I'm going to be using black and brown because the picture doesn't, I can't really tell if it's black or brown, so I'm just going to use both. Um, so, first of all, I'm just going to do the easy part. Well, I mean, it's all pretty easy, but I'm just going to do a little bit of liner on the outer corner, and I'm using Rimmel Coal in black. So this just really um, accentuates the eyes, makes them stand out a little bit more. Okey-doke. Then you're going to take a, some kind of blending brush or smudger. I'm using an e.l.f. smudge brush, which I love so much. And just smudge it out a bit. So now for the waterline. This is very typical of Sophia Bush to be wearing a liner on her waterline. So the first color I'm going to be using is a brown. I'm using a Mary Kay Signature and Sable. Anything that's really, really dark brown will be good. So I'm going to do this on the lower waterline all the way in. Then on the upper waterline, I'm going to use the same one that I just used, the Rimmel uh, Coal, which is the black color. And then I'll do that and come back, uh, do my eyebrows, eyelashes, just do your normal, like, you know, add a good amount of mascara, curl your lashes, whatever. Um, and then I'll come back and show you the cheeks and the lips. Okie doke, so the eyes are finished now. Um, basically with the black and the brown, um, it, it's kind of, the way that I planned it is because the brown really wasn't dark enough, so I just kind of like squeezed my eyes together, and so the black kind of came down to the bottom, and you can just add more black if you want, unless you have a really, really dark brown that works perfectly. Okay, so for the cheeks, um, I'm going to be using this by Smashbox. The color is Masterpiece. I don't think this is, I think this is like a limited edition, but that's the color. Just a nice kind of peachy color, and I'm using my Sony Kashuk. And then just kind of smile and add that right on the apples of your cheeks. For lips, I'm just going to use a lip liner and a clear lip gloss. I'm using um, All May Stay Smooth in... Uh, should I look at this first? Nude tones, and then I'm going to use my Buxom lips in crystal, and I will show you the finish. Okie doke, so here's my finished Sophia Bush inspired makeup tutorial. Hopefully, this guy this helped you out. Hopefully, you like it. Um, I think it turned out a lot like what she seems to wear. I really like how she often wears like a darker lipstick, which is kind of something you don't really see often anymore. I guess people think it's too 90s or something, but I think it looks really good on her, especially with the dark hair, which I don't really have. But um, yeah, so. I think this is pretty classic of what she seems to wear. Hopefully this helped you in some way. I think I already said that. Whatever. Uh, so thanks for watching this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions, and God bless you.